Being productive is very challenging in today's world. It's because we are constantly being bombarded with calls, emails, social notifications, and more. Another sign that productivity is becoming more challenging is how many apps are available that promise to help you become super efficient. The bottom line is, if you struggle to get your work done, then your approach to productivity could be all wrong. Here's what I have learned throughout the years. Instead of squeezing every bit of efficiency out of our schedules, perhaps the key to reaching our full potential lies in building the right habits and mindset for sustainable, meaningful output. So here are three practical tips that will help you get more done in less time. As you will learn later, these have also been backed up by science and productivity experts. Number one, incorporate exercise into your routine. You're a busy professional balancing multiple responsibilities at work and even when you get home. Time is going by fast, so you wish you had a few more hours to complete your outstanding work. But I believe it's not about adding a few more hours into your day, but using the time you already have to get more done. Did you know that exercise can be a game changer? Research published in Brain Science has proven that regular physical activity releases neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin, which boost blood flow and enhance focus, reasoning, memory, and overall cognitive performance. You can read the entire study. Exercise benefits, brain function, the monoamine connection. The link is posted in the description. I forgot that exercise also elevates mood, motivation, and learning capabilities. In other words, the better you feel, the more you want to get done. It's that simple. The good news is that you don't have to go wild with exercising to achieve the benefits. The same study shows that walking 6 to 9 miles per week can provide similar benefits by ensuring oxygen-rich blood reaches your brain. Number 2. Get into your flow. What does it mean to get into your flow? Have you ever been working so hard that hours felt like minutes? When you feel like this, you are in the flow. In other words, you are completely motivated and focused without any distractions. I believe working in the phenomenon of the flow is the complete state of productivity and your output is at its best. First, the concept of the flow was introduced by positive psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, who believed that achieving a state of flow can significantly enhance productivity, thus providing a sense of pleasure and meaning. He states that when you are in a heightened state of flow, you experience peak performance and enjoyment. This is often described as being in the zone, a state where you're entirely focused on the task, free from distractions, and performing at your best. Additionally, you gain future benefits. You learn, grow, improve, and perform at an exceptionally high level. In his book, Flow the Psychology of Optimal Experience, Mihaly says you can achieve this optimal mental state if you create the right conditions. For example, here are four key steps to help you get into flow. Set clear goals. It's important to define what you want to achieve and accomplish from whatever you are doing. Having a start and a finish will sharpen your focus because you have a clearly defined objective. Eliminate distractions. You know yourself better than anyone else, so take time to understand what distracts you from your work and eliminate them before starting it. For example, find a quiet environment if you can't work in loud places. If your smartphone keeps beeping, turn off notifications and close unnecessary apps or tabs. Minimizing distractions is crucial to maintaining flow. The next one is crucial, so pay attention. Identify peak times. You have to determine the time you are most productive. Once you do, schedule challenging tasks during these periods. The theory behind this is that when you have the most energy and motivation and are the most alert and focused, you maximize your chances of achieving flow. And finally, challenge yourself. The less you get bored doing a task, the greater the chances you'll stay motivated to achieve that goal. The key is to find a job that excites you and challenges you. You can even work on projects and tasks that exceed your skill level because this will keep you engaged and motivated. Creating these conditions allows you to become completely absorbed in the present moment and the task at hand, losing self-consciousness and the sense of time. With practice, you can learn to induce this optimal mental state consistently. Number three, don't forget to take breaks. 
According to many experts, you should take frequent breaks so you have time to stretch out those sore muscles from sitting too long or even eating lunch. I used to make the mistake of working long hours without a break. Now that I think about it, I realize how working for hours without breaks hindered my productivity. Tony Schwartz, CEO of The Energy Project and author of The Way We're Working Isn't Working, discusses this in the Harvard Business Review. He says, our bodies signal the need for a breakthrough signs like hunger, drowsiness, and loss of focus. However, we often ignore these signals and resort to artificial means to boost our energy, such as caffeine, sugary foods, and our body's stress hormones. So to achieve the most by maximizing your productivity and performance, Schwartz suggests following the program of sprinters in track and field. They would work with complete focus and intensity for 90-minute periods during the morning, followed by a proper break. The break can be for 30 minutes or an hour, and then you can return to work for another 90 minutes, then rinse and repeat. The theory behind this is that by concentrating on your most challenging and important tasks for these 90-minute sprints and then allowing your brain to rest and recharge, you can work more efficiently and effectively when you return to your desk. When you get more done in less time, your productivity increases, often leading to greater job satisfaction and happiness. To work more efficiently, start by ensuring your workspace is comfortable and well-suited to your needs. Then. Plan your tasks around your natural energy levels throughout the day. Keeping an activity log can help you better understand how you spend your time, allowing you to delegate, outsource, or eliminate unnecessary tasks. The most important thing is to learn from your actions to continue to improve your time management skills, which will lead to growth and greater productivity throughout your day. If you want to learn more on how to land jobs and reach your career goals, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button to get new videos every single week. Also, don't forget to hit that like button because that motivates me to keep doing what I do. Stay safe, keep smiling, and good luck.